covers things up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Remparts lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Rochette's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Oil Kings win it in the defensive zone. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. The Oil Kings are across the line and into the offensive end. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Here's a shot, and that doesn't reach the net. With possession along the wall. Beautiful read of the defensive end by Kolarov. Gain momentum up along the side. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Moves it to Rochette, and he makes the save. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Takes it into the slot. Denies him. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Somehow knocked away by the goalie on that one. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Well past the midway mark of this period, Quebec's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Jostled off the puck. Centering pass! This is it off the end here! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Straight up the middle, here they come. Puts it on there! Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Rousseau! Takes the shot! Oh, he steps into the line of fire and blocks it! and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. McKenzie's got the puck in his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. To his teammate! Puck scooped up by Truchal. The Rimparts take it across the blue line. Fires it on net! Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Now a quick pass to McKenzie. Nice feed from the right wing. Fires it! Denies him with the pad. Passes it over to Bolduc. He carries the puck up along the wing. Fires one on goal. And he had an answer with that save. Drives it to the crease. Again, James, you know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused that they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Late goings of this period, we've got a 2-1 game. The Remparts win the draw. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's deflected. Moves it quickly over to Savoie. And that's broken up by Boyko. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Officials are set, players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. The Remparts take possession after that neutral zone face-off. 
Komarov's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Komarov's taking it from his own end. Malatestas across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Denied by the defender. Nice block. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Lengua. Claude save. He's out of tonight. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to battle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Oh, what a stop by Rousseau. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive, and he wins the battle. Robidas carrying it ahead. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Savoie. Edmonton's got it in the neutral zone. Moves inside! Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. No question that this would have been a tough save to make, James, as he's trying to out-battle and see the puck with all of those bodies in front of him. But, man, you got to find a way to get that glove on the puck, especially when it's a windmill. He was looking for the flash and dash and just missed. Here in the later stages of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. The Rimparts take it along the wall. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Turn that one aside. From off the wall and onto his stick. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Slides the puck over. Komarov stick handling in his own zone. The Rimparts are in transition. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Through center along the wing. Quebec's on the attack. Shot! Left save by the goalie. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Quebec's got it and they're on the attack. Grabbed along the boards by Savoie. Denies him! He got all of it! The Oil Kings will play it in their own end. Here they come on the attack. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Slides it over to Godet. Quebec's got it along the wall. Takes it to the front. Oh, they do it again. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Puts it on net. Tremendous save by Rousseau. Chris shot from the slot. Stops him again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. The Remparts take possession off the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Agostino. And he takes the pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Taken here by Boyko. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Edmonton's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Here he is in close. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You sense an upward trajectory as this game's progressed, and they find the back of the net. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net.
The Oil Kings take the one goal lead here in the first. Uh, and if I'm the coach, I'm telling them to keep going, be aggressive, stay on the puck, especially after you score a goal head goal. You got them back on their heels, you got to attack. Reaches out and uses the stick. Passes ahead from the right side. Quick shot! Big save just as time runs out. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse, featuring complete player listings for both teams. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Quick feed to Bolton. Kicked away. A nice pad save by the goaltender. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Here they come. I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Edmonton's extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back. There's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. Moves it to Savoie. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. the feed into the offensive zone moves it in front oh and they couldn't complete that Quebec's in transition moves it quickly over to Savoie takes a shot oh he didn't get all of it but just enough to keep it out of the net feeds it to Savoie Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Lots of time left in this period. The Oil Kings have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Picked up along the wall by Komarov, and they cough it up at center. Moves around along the half wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And that slides right out to center ice. Great hustle to come up with the puck. From behind the net, looks to break out. Passes on over to Boyko. Oh, they didn't like that hit. Here we go. They didn't like it, James. They didn't like it at all. And now they're standing tall and say, hey, if you're going to have your way with us, you're going to answer for it. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. Tough to watch fighting, but sometimes when it's a tilt on the road and you're a winner, it creates a ton of momentum. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Edmonton's won the face-off deep in their own end. The Oil Kings have it now. And he takes the feed. And he takes the dish. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Edmonton's really put the pressure on here offensively, and they lead in the second. Langlois moving the puck to his own zone. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Lots of time left in this period. The Oil Kings lead at 4-2. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Quebec's looking to break out. Tosses it to Rochette. 
Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes a shot. a nose for the net. You take the initial shot and you get back to the front of the net for your own rebound. That's a great tenacious goal. Quebec's look way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's the physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Nice zone entry from the left. Cuts to the paint. The Ramparts get a hold of the puck in their own end. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Logan has got it in the defensive end. The Oil Kings look to start the transition game. Here's a short pass to Boyko. Centering feed! Shot! Grabs the puck in the slot! Takes a shot! Moves with the puck in the corner. Quebec's gained possession along the boards. Rogadas got the puck. Quick pass to Savoy. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Oil Kings lead here in the second period, and they have been the more active team offensively. Edmonton's taking possession in their own end. They fight for it along the boards. Quebec's got the puck along the wall. Moves into the slot. Picked up along the boards by Ketier. Looking to make something happen at center. Pokes the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Dave. Sees the pass. Blocked in traffic. Takes that pass back at the point. A wrist shot from the slot. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Oil Kings lead it 4-3. Diggs won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. The Oil Kings take possession off the faceoff. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. The Oil Kings will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they get the job done. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Takes a hit but still hangs on to the puck. Throws off a stick. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Ramparts gain possession of the defensive zone. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Steps inside the line. Here's a shot. And he gets just enough to keep it out. And now he moves it quickly to Finley. Gets a glove on it. The Oil Kings gain control of the puck against the wall. And that's blocked in traffic. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to click. 
They could really use a clear here. And they finally get off their heels and get it out. Puck is grabbing. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. With some open space at center. Shot! Just line! Scooped up along the wall by Boyko. Let's it go from the slot. Quebec's got the puck shorthanded. Was penalty is almost expired. And the puck clears the zone. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. The Oil Kings run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. That's a great power play unit. Look out, unwritten rule broken. You said it right there, the unwritten rule in hockey. You don't hit after the whistle, and you certainly don't shoot the puck after the whistle. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. The Remparts from that fight, and now they have to build on the momentum that it's created. You can play physical, you can play fast, but what you do after a fight is really important. All right, Cheryl, walk me through what's being said on the bench right now with the coach talking to the rookie. Well, I don't think you can look at the scoreboard as a measuring stick. So listen, coach is saying, don't get frustrated. Just stay the course, stay present shift by shift, because guess what? You're having a great game. Continue what you're doing, kid. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. Puck grab by Trouchal. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Oil Kings have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Nice bank pass off the boards. Almost stopped by Rousseau. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Still lots of time left in the period. Edmonton's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. Rochette's won the draw inside his own end. Savoie's got it along the boards. Cutter to the slot! Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. The Remparts get a hold of it. Quebec's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a shot! Makes the save! And that pass is redirected. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Down the right side and into the zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Moves it on over to Savoie. Rochette's picking up steam. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Edmonton's got it behind the net. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Edmonton's got the puck. The Oil Kings move the puck in the defensive zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Oil Kings gain possession. Knocks the puck loose. Taken along the wall by Boyko. Back to the blue line. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Trucho's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Now he slides it up. He's got a step. Oh, the eyes of the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Slides it on over to Trushaw. And that'll free up the puck. The Remparts played along the wing. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Finley. Handles the pass. Quebec's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Oil Kings played along the boards. Here's a chance! Oh, break out the ice packs. He lays out to block that shot. Ow! Moves it to Ketchier. Clear it! 
trying to get the puck away from the Inferno here. The Rimparts will play it from the defensive zone. Sends it quickly to Lavoie. The Oil Kings take possession in the neutral zone. Offside the call will get a reset. More than half the period has expired. Edmonton's clinging to this 4-3 lead. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And it's a quick pass to Boyko. The Remparts have it from their own end. To the low slot. Takes a shot. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Edmonton's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. The Oil Kings win the draw here in their own end. Right up the gut, here they go. Puts it on net, just wide. And loses possession after a solid hit. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Gets it out of his own end. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Fires it on net. Oh, what a stop on the play. The Remparts will play it in their own end. Feeds it on over to Savoie. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. Tosses it on to Savoie. Fires it. James, I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. You can see the frustration as he slams the penalty box door, James. That's his second of the period, and he knows he's put his team in a bad spot. The Rimparts get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Puck clears the zone. The Remparts gain possession along the wall. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Puts it off the inside of the frame. The Red Park fans showing some frustration there as they hit the post. Listen, when you're only down in the game by a little bit, you have to find a way to claw your way back in with a perfect chance right there to give them some momentum. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Here's a chance to set up now. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Rochette's got it in the offensive end. Shot! Shuts him down! The Oil Kings will kill off a few extra seconds now. And manages to clear the zone. The Remparts gain control of the puck. Slides the puck across to Robida. Edmonton's killed the penalty. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Edmonton's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed from his own end. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And that pass is intercepted. Answers it with an even better save. Moves the puck. And he scores. So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you out-battle and out-will the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. The Oil Kings deliver an absolute backbreaker with that goal here late in the second. Well, it certainly adds a buffer to that one goal lead, doesn't it? And it certainly changes the mind frame. What it can change is the way that they're playing. They got to keep the foot on the gas here and get themselves to the intermission. 
Kershaw's lugging the puck. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Handles the puck at the point. Denies him on the slapper. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Boyko's gained the line and on the attack. The Ramparts get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Old Duke's got it against the boards. And that play's broken up. And he handles the cross ice pass. The Oil Kings scoop it up along the boards. Boyko's got it in the offensive zone. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Here he is in front! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Edmonton's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Quebec's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Bolton. Oh, he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there! Bolduc's well, back on the ice after serving a five-minute major for fighting, and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box, as sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players, ice, and we're back with a third period next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. They're underway here in the third, and this could come down to last shot wins. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Oil Kings are leading in this game, but I don't know if the coaches are going to like it that much, James. Everyone's cheating on the offensive side of the park, and it's been back and forth, action packed game. And it's all about offense. Quick shot! And that ricochets off a twig in front. And that's broken up. Grabbed along the board by Boyko. From the top of the offensive zone here. Quebec's got it along the wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Up along the wing. The Oil Kings looking against the half wall. Goaltender gave him nothing as it goes off the side of the net. Into the offensive end now. The Oil Kings have it against the wall. Boyko's crossed the line and gained the zone. Shot! Hard save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. There he is from the slot. Big save by the goaltender once again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Paul Duke's got it along the wing. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Keating Steve here on the attack. Tremendous glove save by Rousseau. The Oil Kings have been bringing the fire offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third. Edmonton's won the draw, and they'll go to work. What a steal in his own end. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. We're still in the early stages of this period. Up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Made that stop. Picked up along the wall by Savoie. And there's the save. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Edmonton's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Quebec's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Takes a shot. And he keeps possession. 
Quebec's gained possession along the boards. Handles the puck. Unloads one. Sends the pass over. Quebec's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Can't keep a hold of it. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Grabs it in his own end. Great poke check on the reach. Here's a short pass to Komarov. And he had the answer on that one. Edmonton's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. The Remparts win the faceoff. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Quebec's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to the offensive zone. The Oil Kings have it now. Quebec's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Remparts carry it along the wall. The Oil Kings have it behind the cage. Edmonton's looking to break out. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Now a quick pass to Robidoux. Slick feed. Quebec's got it across the line. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here's a shot! Oh, what a save in front! Way too much congestion blocks that. And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. gets loose. Slides it diagonally to Thompson. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes the feet at the back end. Let's it fly. Gets down low and blocks the shot. Gains the zone through center. Edmonton's grabbed a hold of the puck. The Oil Kings have it now. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. The Oil Kings take it along the wing. Puck scooped up by Komarov. Tries to feed it over to Agostino. Gaining momentum up along the side. Edmonton's got the puck. The Oil Kings move the puck in the defensive zone. They've got numbers here. The Remparts grab possession of the puck. Quebec's looking to break out of their own end. Thompson's got it across the line. Edmonton's top trio continues to impress James. They've had a lot of motion in the offensive zone. They're having a ton of fun showing that chemistry, a lot of zip. And they've been productive, a reason why they're on top. So they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. Yeah, it certainly was. And there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. Well, the goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language.
Quebec's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. Oh, they stopped that rocket! Oh, it stops them again! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Oil Kings have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Here they come on the attack. Shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Here's a blast. Total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Quebec's got the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Great reach with the poke check by Savoie. 
Hearts gain control of the puck. Can't get a hold of that pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that puck leaves the zone. And the goaltender's going to play it out of the crease. Takes control of the puck. Bank pass off the boards. The Oil Kings gain possession. Takes a shot. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Oil Kings gain possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Savoy. Quebec's crossed the line and on the attack. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And he denied that opportunity. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. And they do it again and again and again. Uh, the coaches will be preaching, listen, have no mercy. Continue the pounding, and continue the beating because they are on a roll. And that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because he gets off his stick so fast. Something happened. Oh, and that doesn't go well. well. The game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. Cutting to the front of the net. Can't get it to go. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Picking up ahead of steam. Oh, the breakaway! Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Here he is, shot in front. Oh, and he lays out to block it. What a warrior. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Dave. That knocks him off the puck. The Rimparts get a hold of it. To the front! Here's a shot! Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Oh, what a stick save! The Red Parts can get an A for effort tonight, but they're gonna get a D for hitting the back of the net. How many times can they wire it off the post? On the attack along the boards. Makes it look easy. Great positioning with the pad save. The Oil Kings have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. Edmonton's won the faceoff. By the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And he takes the feed. Here's a blast. Turns it away on the slap shot. Hammers it up there. fan base they're on their feet you know they're right into the game and listen when they are showing you that kind of appreciation you also want to play for them Edmonton's been on a roll all There's night long and they continue to lead in the third and now it's grabbed by Ketsier gains the zone along the right wall hard hit freeze up the puck scooped up along the wall by Malatesta Savoie stick handling in his own zone the Oil Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the pass. Turns it aside. Let's go! Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. Well, I'd say they're running out of options here, James. I mean, they took their starter out. They brought him in in relief. Unfortunately, just not getting the job done as that one goes by. You know who else is not getting the job? 
to Rubinov. Puts it on net with the stop. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed. The Oil Kings move it in. Dang, he's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game, and you know he's looking for the hiding. Oh, to Mason with the paddle save. Now he takes it over the line. Fires it on net. Fantastic save. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Edmonton's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Fires it, denies him in close. And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Quick feed to Russia. In front. Slides the puck over. Stopped by the goaltender. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Oil Kings have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight and they continue to lead in the third. The Remparts take possession here inside the offensive zone. And a solid stop on the play there. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Rochette's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Strong defensive effort. playing for him. They gotta get going north, but the first thing they need to do is retrieve the puck and stop chasing the game. Off the draw, they take possession. Komaraz taking it from his own end. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Quebec's got the puck in the corner. Oh, this is the net. What a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spot, Great time. You gotta figure he's gonna put one by the tendy. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got it now. Big stop right there. Battling for it along the boards. And it's kicked away. Quebec's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Lead pass ahead. Denies him in front. The Rimparts scoop it up along the boards. Let's it go. Stopped by the goaltender. And he elects to play the puck. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. The Oil Kings have definitely used the shoot first mentality and look at the score here late. The Remparts win that offensive zone faceoff. Center wins that one clean. Everyone's ready for the puck. They know they're attacking now with the tired group that they're playing against. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Shot denies him with the save. And he takes the pass. Puck exits the zone. 
Grabs it at his own end. Trying to clear the puck. Taken by Ketier. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Stoppage and play offside the call. The Oil Kings haven't stopped putting pucks on net, and they lead it here late in the third. Edmonton's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Throws it in. Quebec's got the puck along the wall. The Rempart's taken across the blue line. Moves it to Watt. Slotted aside by the blocker. And some good footwork to kick it away. Great poke by Rochette. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Boykos won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Kajir has got the puck along the wing. Quick shot! And there's the save! Takes the feed. And that was stopped. And he takes the feed. The Rimparts take it along the wall. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Boyko. Takes control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Rochette. The Oil Kings take possession of the defensive end. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Cover has been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Well, the penalty killers are going to head out onto the ice to kill this one off, James, but this is more of a formality. They have to get out there because this game, it's all theirs. Quebec's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Puck slid down the ice. Quebec's got the puck. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Sabo. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And he takes the dish. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Rochette's ready to take the draw here on this power play. And off the draw, they take possession. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Ross moving the puck to his own zone. Bull Dukes across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Takes a knot, but he's still got the puck. And they send it down the ice. Works it across to Savoie. Takes the cross ice pass. From the open ice, they gain the line. Reaches out and uses the stick. Coughs it up on the play. The Remparts have it now. Down the 